New this morning, we're taking you behind the scenes and showing you how those giant 4th of July fireworks are put together. Yeah, Joel Nichols joins us live from Greenwood, Missouri. And Joel, are they letting you touch anything there? <laughs> What's that? What'd you say? Are they letting you touch any of the fireworks? No, are you crazy? Absolutely yeah, right. not. <laughs> no, they saw me pull up and they said, keep him away from anything flammable. And so, no, nothing <laughs> is happening here. But I'll tell you, when you think of fireworks, you think of being outside and lighting stuff and it goes up. But it really kind of starts here in an office with a computer. Stephen Witt is here and Stephen's been doing this for a long time. Tell us how you use the computer to get those beautiful images in the sky. Well, basically, you take your soundtrack and you'll lay your soundtrack down first. Right. And then you have your variety of different shells that you will choose to actually lay down on each individual note. Interesting. So let me little, play a little segment here. And you'll actually have, um, the computer will actually put the automatic rise times in. Because that's important, isn't it? Because when you set it up, it's going to be a different time than when you want it to go off for the music. Absolutely. Each shell is, a, each size shell uh, is different. So your three inch takes about two and a half seconds by the time you actually light it, right. till it rises, till it actually bursts in the sky. And in this case, we're listening to Lee Greenwood, proud to yes. be an American, a huge favorite this time of the year for this kind of display. Absolutely, the most most popular Fourth of July song there is. Is that right? Yeah. And so what are we talking about in terms of num how long does it take you to sit down and create a, a, a special program for somebody? before it's ready to go out there? Normally they figure it takes about two hours for every 30 seconds of music. Wow, really? It, that is really time a, you lay a time down, intensive thing. It does. It takes a lot of time and um, sitting in front of a computer screen. Wow. What kind of things do you look for to make each one a little bit different for people? Well, you got to look at your different, uh, your tempo of your music. Right. Um, you know, when it's a slow part of a song, you want to bring in your soft willows and um, and soft shells when it's when it's a little bit more exciting you you up your tempos right it must be kind of there's a real uh, sense of creating kind of art there in the sky isn't it, it? Is. when you're sitting it's, here doing it's this it's like you're painting the sky it's really exactly pretty. so it starts kind of here and they come up with these great ideas and then you kind of set it to the music you use the computer but there's still a lot of old-fashioned labor <laughs> that goes Absolutely. into it. Absolutely. And so coming up in the next segment, we're going to go out back into the loading dock area. We're going to show you uh, what happens there and how they get ready for their 100-plus shows they're doing around four different states. And yes, they have kept me away from anything that might go boom. Uh, so nothing is going boom around me right now. I like back it. To you. Smart. That's I always wondered how they coordinated all of that. Yeah, that got me excited for yeah. this weekend. That's fun. Thanks, cool. Joel.